let's say if you're living in a building, we don't even think when we enter a building or when we drive over a flyover, we just take it for granted. But what if it was not done properly? Let's say, let's say this is a, a bridge and uh, I have, let's say, a car going on top. Now, with this, you can see I can bend it fairly easily. Uh, but, but what if I use the same scale and I just rotate it by 90 degrees? Now, you know, no matter how much I try, I can't bend it. So even if there's like maybe five cars on top, I, I can't. Structural engineering would be uh, designing and analyzing any structure uh, to make, the, make sure it stands uh, or it does not fall down. We look at doing a civil engineering uh, bachelor's and then uh, after that uh, it's better if you want to work as a structural engineer to get a master's degree. When you're drawing, you have to think in three dimensions as I showed you the drawing earlier. It's a plain piece of paper, but a structure is three dimensional. So you should be able to imagine a 3D thing on a 2D piece of paper. It's never that uh, that you end up working in a, in a cubicle on your own. So it's a very interactive uh, process where you're actually encouraged to, to talk and discuss. We, we were told many times that, you know, computers can crash and well, you just live with it. But uh, you can't live with, you know, oh, my building just crashed.